Hey everyone and welcome back to the amazing dinosaurs. Today we are checking out all of my newest Jurassic World figures and we're gonna start out with this one right here. You may be thinking you haven't seen this one before and that is because it is custom painted. It is an Irex in a camouflage green color and check out that super bloody mouth too. Next up of my newest figures, we've got the Dino Tracker Endoraptor figure and it features some attack slashing actions and an attack button on its back too. The next new figure is this Wild Roar Eo Carcaria figure. It features the feather texturing all over its body. It's got some bright coloring along its head and a slide lever action for different chomps and sound effects. Next up of these new figures is, I believe, the Chronosaurus. This dinosaur is an aquatic dinosaur, so it has four fins. It's got these huge teeth in its mouth and a slide lever action for some roaring sound effects and chomping motions. Next up, I've got a medium-sized Sino Tyrannus figure from the Dino Tracker series. You can see this huge headpiece, and it also has two action buttons on its back. One moves its jaws, and the other swings its tail. Next up of the new figures is this epic attack Carnotaurus figure. It has the classic orange red coloring all over its body. And the special part is it's got these two action buttons for battle damage and sound effects. And not only that, but it also has a jaw chomping action. Here's an even larger figure. This is the extreme battle damage Allosaurus figure. This is the largest Allosaurus I have, and you can check out that extreme battle damage right there on its side. Plus, it also has an action button on its back for sound effects and chomping. Here's another T-Rex I bet you haven't seen before. That's because this is another custom colored one. This is a battle damage T-Rex. You can see the battle damage turned on and off on its side, and it is custom colored into the camo green. It's really cool. Next up is one that I bought just a couple weeks ago. This is a Scorpio Venator in totally new coloring. It's mostly brown and has some orange detailing running along its neck and its head. And this Scorpio Venator actually came as a pack with this Iguanodon figure. And check it out, they both have an attack button when you press down on its back. I think we all know this next one. This is the Therizinosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It features these huge claws in its hands, and you can use the tail to swing the torso back and forth, and use the button for an attack action. This dinosaur is the new Diabloceratops from the Dino Tracker series. It is the only Triceratops looking dinosaur that I have that has this bright red coloring and it's got a ginormous frill on the front of its head too. Plus there is a little button on its back for sound effects and attack movements. This next figure is a Tyrannosaurus Rex and this one I got just a week ago and it is custom colored to look way more lifelike. Plus, they added a bunch more battle damage. And this is the Terran T-Rex, so it has the button on its back for the tearing action. Next, why don't we grab these huge figures way in the back? I can't even show this full one on camera, it's so big. This is the Dreadnoughtus figure, and it is probably one of the largest and longest figures that I have. Just look at the size of this thing. This is crazy. Next up in the back here is another huge one, but not quite as large. This is the Apatosaurus figure, and it too has a pretty long neck and a long tail, and you can still move its head around and open and close its mouth. I think that's a pretty cool detail for how big this figure is. All right, let's see what's next here. This is the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus. It has the classic coloring for Ceratosauruses, and it features very poseable arms, legs, tail, neck, and of course, the mouth. Here's another Hammond Collection figure. This is the Concavenator. And this figure looks pretty wild. It's got an interesting looking spine coming out of half of its back, and it's got a huge orange tail, and of course, is extremely poseable. Let's keep going with these Hammond Collection figures. This one is the Baryonyx, and just like the others, is super poseable and features the gray coloring with the dark blue on top. 
this next figure is a bit smaller. This is the Strike Attack Zunaceratops. This, I think, is the second version of the Zunaceratops, and this one features the brown coloring with some tan and black. And it has an action button on its back. Next up is the Edophosaurus figure. This figure reminds me of a Dimetrodon because of the huge spine along its back, but I think this dinosaur spine might be even a little bit larger. And it features an action where you can move the tail to twist the head back and forth. Aww. Over here, I've got the giant Dino Tracker's Stegosaurus figure. It comes with the backpack that I have attached right here, and it has totally different coloring compared to the other Stegosaurus figures that I have. Plus, it features two buttons on its back, both to move its tail. This is the Hammond Collection Ankylosaurus figure. It is quite a bit larger than the other Ankylosaurus figures I've got and is very poseable. You can even open and close its mouth. Here is a Triceratops figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. It's got the green body with the dark green on its head and the orange right along the front too. Over here is the Irritator Raptor. This one is super brightly colored. It has an interesting spine running down its back and on both sides of its tail. And on this figure, if you press down, you get a chomping action. Here is the Wild Roar Dryptosaurus dinosaur figure. It's got spikes all over its tail, running up its back, up to its head, and it has an action on its back that you can use for chomping actions. This weird looking dinosaur figure is the Siamosaurus. It stands on all four legs and has a dark blue body with a spine on its back, kind of like a Spinosaurus. And on this figure, the tail controls the head and the jaw. We saw one Scorpio Venator earlier that had different coloring. This was the original one. And I believe this one is from Jurassic World Dominion. It has the yellow sides with the dark blue top and the white detailing. And of course, when you press down on its back, you get a chomping action. Here is the Ampelosaurus figure in the orange coloring with the brown on top. And like many other figures, the tail controls the head and the jaw. I've also got a few Ragosaurus figures in here. I believe this one was the earlier version with the brown coloring and the dark blue. And this one is a bit more recent. It's dark blue all over its body and it has the white along its neck and its chin. This is an extremely recent one. This is the Epic Attack Dilophosaurus. This figure is a little bit larger than most of my Dilophosauruses. It has the dark green body and the attack button right here on the side. It's pretty cool that it lights up, but sadly on this figure, you cannot open or close the frills. I think that's a pretty big bummer. Here is the Austroraptor figure. You can tell it looks pretty similar to a Velociraptor, but it has a much longer and narrower snout. Aww. Speaking of raptors, here's another one. This is a Mega Raptor figure. It comes in the red and dark blue coloring, and when you press down on its body, you get a chomp action. This is the Sound Surge Irex figure. It's a lot smaller than many of my Irex figures, but it still has some pretty decent detailing and of course the sound effects. Next up for the new figures, I've got a Nothosaurus dinosaur. This is a pretty long and short dinosaur, but it's got some gnarly teeth. Check that out. This next figure is the Elephrosaurus dinosaur in the bright blue. It's got some yellow green coloring and it features poseable arms, legs, tail, neck, and head too. Next up is the extreme damage, Geniodectes Cirrus. While most of its body is this dark gray coloring, it has bright blue and red on the top of its head. And of course, the battle damage on the side. And here's another Geniodectes Cirrus. This is not the battle damage edition and it has different coloring too. Plus this one has an action button to chomp its jaw. I've got quite a few more extreme damage dinosaurs. This is the Atrociraptor extreme damage version. This Atrociraptor is in the white and dark blue, and of course, check out that battle damage. The next extreme damage dinosaur, I believe is pronounced the Coelurus. It comes in dark green and dark red, and the battle damage, of course. The final extreme damage that I have of my new figures is this Pyroraptor. It is in the classic red with black, and of course, there's the battle damage. I've also got a little baby Stegosaurus here, and this one is in the bright green. It's even got some gold around its eyes, 
and the red spines. And finally for my new figures is the Rugops Primus Dinosaur. It has feather texturing all over its body and you can pose the arms, the legs, the neck, and the jaw. Today on Amazing Dinosaurs Channel, we are checking out a collection of Jurassic World figures that I predict will be in the next Jurassic World 4 movie. And in a little bit, I've got some brand new ones that we're gonna open up. The first that we're gonna check out is, of course, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. How could this dinosaur not be in the next Jurassic World movie? And this specific T-Rex figure is actually from the last movie called Jurassic World Dominion. The next dinosaur that I think will be in Jurassic World 4 is the Spinosaurus. This is actually the Camp Cretaceous figure, and it is even a little bit larger than the T-Rex figure. Also, I really hope that they bring back the Indominus Rex. This new dinosaur was made known from the first Jurassic World movie, and this figure is actually the Battle Damage Edition, meaning with this button right here, you can actually hide the battle damage on the side. And there's a button on its tail for the roaring action. Next up for my predictions, I've got the huge Giganotosaurus figure. We saw this dinosaur in the last Jurassic World Dominion movie. And this figure is actually the super colossal Giganotosaurus. So as you can see, it is way larger than any of the other figures that I have. Up next is the mighty Mosasaurus figure. This dinosaur was from the first Jurassic World movie, and I think it is one of the best aquatic dinosaurs that they've shown. So I hope they bring it back. And with this Mosasaurus figure, you can move all the fins around, and open and close the jaw. Over here, we've got another T-Rex figure. This is a Battle Edition T-Rex. I think it might be from Camp Cretaceous, and you can see that it's got some battle damage slashes right on its side. Plus, the figure is fully posable with its arms, legs, tail, neck, and its head, and it has a button to chomp the jaw. Up next for my Jurassic World 4 predictions is the Therizinosaurus. This dinosaur had an epic battle in the Jurassic World Dominion movie, and I wouldn't be surprised if they brought it back again for another fight. This figure has a fully posable body and an attack button on its tail. Over here, we've got the Carnotaurus, one of my favorite carnivores. This figure features posable legs and arms and an attack tail that moves its head and chomps its jaw. This is another T-Rex figure, but this is actually an older figure, I think from the first Jurassic World movie. It has a fully tan body other than a little bit of gray on its face, and it features posable arms, legs, and an attack button on its back for chomping. I think Jurassic World 4 might also have a Pentaceratops. This is one massive dinosaur and it has one of the biggest frills that I've seen. And this figure has two buttons, one for a head ramming action and the other for a torso swinging action. Here's another herbivore figure. This is a Cynoceratops. Jurassic World has a few different versions of this figure. This is in the light gray with some tan and yellow detailing and it features an attack tail that moves its head. My next prediction is another awesome predator. This is an Allosaurus. I believe this figure was released with Camp Cretaceous and it features posable arms, legs, and tail and has a slide lever action on its back for roaring and chomping. Right over here is another Allosaurus figure. I believe this one was released, I think from Fallen Kingdom. And this Allosaurus features a dark gray body with yellow detailing. It has posable arms and legs and a single button on its back for the chomping action. All right, let's dig into these brand new ones that I just bought. This first box has a Scorpio Venator and an Iguanodon. These are part of the Dino Trackers Roaring Battle Pack. Here is the Scorpio Venator. I have one other Scorpio Venator figure, but this is a whole new color scheme. It's got dark brown, some orange, and then the light underbelly. Plus, it has a chomping action. And here is the Iguanodon figure. I have a few other Iguanodon figures that look pretty similar to this, but once again, this has totally different coloring. This one features a mostly tan body with the brown detailing along the top of its body. And of course, you can press down on its body for a roaring action. 
Next up to open up from my brand new figures is this Hammond collection, Ankylosaurus. And let's attach that tail. All right, this figure is looking quite a bit different from many of my other Ankylosaurus figures. First off, it's a bit larger than many of my other Ankylosauruses, and it has much more natural coloring with the dark green on top and the lighter underbelly. But best of all, like all of the Hammond Collection figures, this figure is super poseable. It looks like its tail has three or four different joints, so you can move it around in a really lifelike way. Of course, you can move the legs around and pose them in all sorts of ways. And coolest of all, you can move its head around and even open and close its mouth. And next up is the Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus. And here it is. So once again, it is very poseable all over its body. And best of all, this figure actually features a removable frill. So you can actually take it off and replace it with this little piece as if the frills are closed. <laughs> Next up over here, I've got the Sound Surge Indominus Rex figure. This figure is a lot smaller than many of my other Irexes. I also think Jurassic World might have a Scorpios Rex in it. This figure is quite large and it features two attack buttons, one for the jaw and one for arm slashing. And of course, what would be a Jurassic World movie without a Stegosaurus in it? This figure features the brown body with some green and tan detailing and it has the attack feature where you can swing its tail. I also hope that Jurassic World 4 has some Baryonyxes in it. This Baryonyx is a bright green color with some brown detailing and of course has a roar action. And I also have this older Baryonyx figure from Fallen Kingdom with the orange highlight on the top of its head. Here's another dinosaur specifically from the older Jurassic World movies. This is an Endoraptor. This is the basic figure so you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. Next up, I've got a Carcharodontosaurus figure. This one is in the light tan yellow coloring with some brown and orange detailing. And it has an attack button on its back for chomping its jaw. Here I've got another Dilophosaurus figure. This figure is a lot larger than the Hammond Collection version and it is the basic version. So you can move its frills back and forth as well as its arms, its legs, and its tail. <laughs> Jurassic World 4 has got to have some winged dinosaurs too. This is a Pteranodon, and this figure features the orange coloring along its wings and the brown body. Here's another dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion that I think might show up again. It's an Atrociraptor, and this figure is the basic edition, so you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. <laughs> Here's another Ankylosaurus figure. You can see that it's quite a bit smaller than the Hammond collection, and it still has some pretty realistic coloring with the green and the gray and the brown. Plus, there's an action button on this one for swinging the tail. Next up is another Dilophosaurus figure, but this one is battery operated, so let's hear some sounds from it. This figure over here is an old Velociraptor figure from the first Jurassic World movie. It features posable legs and posable arms. Next up, also from the Jurassic World Dominion movie, is this basic Pyroraptor figure. And I really hope they bring this one back for the fourth movie. This Pyroraptor is the basic figure, so you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. Over here, I've got another Indominus Rex figure. This one is older, and I believe it was called the Bite and Thrash Indominus Rex. Check it out, another Ankylosaurus figure. This one features much brighter coloring all over its body and has a slide lever action on its back to swing its tail around. This figure set is from Jurassic World Dominion. It features a Parasaurolophus and Owen with his lasso. Up next is another Pteranodon figure. This one is a whole lot smaller, but it has some pretty cool detailing along its wings and a button on its back for flapping the wings. And of course, one that I'm pretty sure that they'll have in the next movie is Velociraptor Blue. And not only that, but we also saw Velociraptor Beta in the last movie as well. So I think that they'll be bringing these Velociraptors back. I've also got a few more Velociraptor figures in here. This first one has a light green body with a darker detailing along the top and features posable arms, legs, and a mouth. 
And this second Velociraptor features a dark gray body with yellow detailing and the posable arms, legs, and jaw. My next prediction is a Stigimaloc dinosaur. This figure specifically is pretty small and has a dark body, but some dark purple coloring along its neck and its head, and it features a headbutting action when you press down on the tail. We saw some Apatosaurus figures in the last movie, but I think that they might bring back the Brachiosaurus dinosaurs. This figure is a baby Brachiosaurus and has a light green body with a darker green along the top and has a poseable jaw, neck, and legs. Over here is another Parasaurolophus figure. I believe this one is also from Jurassic World Dominion and it features a poseable head, arms, and legs. I've predicted a few other horned dinosaurs, but I think Jurassic World will also have Triceratops dinosaurs in it. This figure is a lot smaller than many of the other horned dinosaurs that I have, and it features battle damage that you can open and close on the side. And here is another Atrociraptor figure. This one's a lot smaller than the one that we saw earlier, but it has a darker red coloring with the gray detailing, and it has battle damage that you can open and close on the side. Right over here is a miniature Dilophosaurus figure. It has the brown body with the blue detailing, and it still has the frills on the front that you can open and close. And last of all is a teeny tiny Spinosaurus figure. It still has the giant spine on its back, and it has a chomping action as well. Today on Amazing Dinosaurs, we are checking out all of my newest Jurassic World figures. I've got ones from Jurassic World Dominion and even sooner, like these dino trackers right here. So to start it off, let's check out these ginormous figures in the back. This is the Brachiosaurus figure from the new Jurassic World Dominion. It has the same shape and texturing as the older figure, but it has a different paint job, especially this painting right here. It's reflective blue. Over on the other side is an even more massive dinosaur. This is the Dreadnoughtus figure, and it is one of the biggest and longest figures I have. I mean, check out that length from the tail all the way to the head. Next up, I've got this huge Giganotosaurus figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This figure is the same size as many of my T-Rex figures, or maybe even a little bit larger, and it's got a torso Terran action and a jaw chomping action. Speaking of T-Rexes, I've got a really cool one right here. This is the new Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Every single part of its body is poseable and adjustable, and I really like the face and the mouth. This next one is a super recent one. This is a gigantic Trackers Stegosaurus figure. I think it has much more realistic coloring than many of the other Stegosauruses that I have, and it comes with this awesome new backpack too. Next up is a slightly smaller dinosaur. I believe this one is called a Sinotyrannus. This one is also from the new Dino Tracker series. Check out that crazy looking headpiece that it comes with. Plus it has two action buttons for jaw chomping and for swinging the tail. Over here is a pretty evil looking dinosaur, I think. This is the Diabloceratops. It's pretty similar to a Triceratops, except it's got four huge horns on the top of its head and these hidden ones on the side of its head. And it's got sound effects, as you can hear. Here's another super new one that I think is also from the Dino Tracker series. This one, I believe, is called the Dryptosaurus. It's got poseable arms, legs, and a tail, and there's a lever you can press on its back for the roar sound effects. Now this is one gigantic dinosaur figure. This is a Pyroraptor, and this one's actually pretty special because it is battery operated and you can actually kind of train this dinosaur. Check it out, its eyes light up and it kind of has a personality of its own. You can tap it on the head here. You'll see that it'll respond to you. There's quite a few different modes that this toy can go into. I think this one right here is its feisty mode. 
Up next, we've got an Ampelosaurus figure, which is a pretty unusual looking dinosaur. It's got tons of spikes and a really long neck, and you can open and close the jaw with the button on its tail. This scary looking dinosaur is called a Yang Chuanosaurus, and it is also from Jurassic World Dominion. It has posable arms, legs, and a tail, and you can actually use the tail to move the torso around and open and close the jaw. Back here, we've got a quite large Velociraptor. This one, I think, is Velociraptor Beta. And this one's pretty special because you can press down on its body for a chomping action. And you can push it side to side as if it's walking. Up next, we've got another dinosaur from the Dino Tracker series. This is a new Endoraptor figure. This is probably one of the larger Endoraptors that I have, and this one is battery powered, so it has some roar sound effects too. Over here, I've got a classic looking Stegosaurus. This one was released as part of Jurassic World Dominion. Plus, this figure actually came with a baby Stegosaurus. And that's pretty cool. Look how similar they are in the color. I've also recently gotten some Sound Surge figures from Jurassic World Dominion. This first one is the Tyrannosaurus Rex Sound Surge. Over here is the Giganotosaurus Sound Surge figure. There's also the Carnotaurus Sound Surge figure. It's pretty plain in color, but it's got some sound effects. And finally, for the Sound Surge, I just got this new Indominus Rex figure. It still has some pretty awesome texturing and detailing, very much like the larger sized figures. And let's hear that sound effect. All right, let's check out these new figures now. This first one is the Geniodectes Cirrus from the Dino Tracker series. Now this figure's pretty small overall. It's got some tiny front arms and larger back legs, but it has some pretty cool coloring. It's got this yellow that runs all the way down its belly to its tail, along with the brown that's on its legs and on its back. And even though this figure is really small, it still has an action button for chomping the jaw. And our other brand new figure is the Herrerasaurus from the Dino Tracker series. This figure is also pretty small. It's got larger front arms and still the super large back legs. It's got three different colors on its body, the gray on the head, and then the bright orange and brown in the back. And this figure also has an action button for a head ramming action. This is pretty cool. I have some Herrerasaurus figures from an older series like Camp Cretaceous, so it'll be interesting to see how different they are. On to the next one. This one is a Ceratosaurus figure from the Hammond Collection. So this figure is super poseable on all parts of its body, and it has some pretty decent coloring as well. <laughs> This next one is also from the Hammond Collection, and I bought this one super recently. This is a Triceratops figure. It's mostly a dark brown color, but you can see that there's little splotches and small details of different colors. This is probably one of the coolest Triceratops figures that I have. Over here, I've got an Iguanodon figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. It's got posable front and back legs, and it has sound effects and a head ramming attack too. This is the Rajasaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the short front arms and the huge back legs, and it has a chomping action. And I've actually got another Rajasaurus from the same series, but they released it with different colors. So this is a very dark blue, and then some white, and some interesting purple spikes on the top of its head. You probably recognize this from Jurassic World Dominion. This is the Therizinosaurus dinosaur. It stands on its two back legs. It has these huge claws on its hands. And with this figure, you can use the tail to control the torso and for a chomping action. Oh, it looks like we've got another Triceratops figure in here. This is from Jurassic World Dominion as well. It's got a super bright color right on the front of its frill. And it comes with sound effects, as you can hear. Let's check out that head ramming action. 
This next figure is one of my favorite ones that I've bought recently. This is a huge Allosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This one's probably twice the size as some of my other Allosaurus figures. Plus, it's got battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. And not only that, but it also has an attack button on its back for chomping. Over here, we've got a weird looking dinosaur. This one walks on all four legs and it has a huge spine. It's called a Ciamosaurus. And the best part is you can use the tail to move the head around in a really realistic way, as well as open and close the mouth. I've also got the Mega Raptor from Jurassic World Dominion. It's pretty similar to a Velociraptor, but it has a lot more feathers on its body. And with this figure, you can press down on its body for a chomping action. I've still got one more giant T-Rex figure in here. This one is from Dominion, and it is an extreme battle damage T-Rex. Check out the battle damage right on the side that you can reveal with the click of a button. Next up is the Scorpio Venator from Jurassic World Dominion. This one also has small front arms and big back legs, and it has a pretty interesting head shape too. Let's check out that chomping action. Next up, this is the Irritator. It's a pretty unusual looking dinosaur. It's got a little spine on its back and a super long and narrow mouth. Oh, and it looks like I've got one more Hammond Collection figure in here. This is the Baryonyx from the Hammond Collection. And just like the others, it is super poseable on all parts of its body. Here is also a Dimetrodon with battle damage right on the side that you can activate and hide. And finally, this is a Rugops Primus from Jurassic World Dominion. Check out all that feather texturing all over its body. <laughs> Today on Amazing Dinosaurs, we are checking out a T-Rex versus Raptor collection, and we're gonna set them up to face off against each other on the table. Let's get started with our first T-Rex. This is the classic Camp Cretaceous T-Rex, and is one of my favorites because of how realistic it looks when you move it. Next, let's grab our first Raptor. Let's go with this huge Dino Trackers Endoraptor. This is actually one of the newest and most recent Endoraptor figures that Mattel has released. And there are the first two facing off. Let's get some more. Next up, let's go with the classic Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex figure. This figure is a whole lot darker than the Camp Cretaceous version, and it might actually be a little bit bigger. For our next raptor, why don't we go with this big one right here? I believe that this is Velociraptor Blue, and it actually has some pretty cool action features. You can press down on its body for a chomping action, and you can swivel it side to side as if it's walking. All right, let's set that up right in front of the huge Endoraptor. For our next T-Rex, let's go with the huge Stomp and Escape T-Rex. I think this might actually be from Camp Cretaceous as well. And it's got some pretty cool attack buttons. There's a button on its back for the roaring action. Plus, you can twist the tail for stomp sound effects. Let's see, we've got another big raptor in here. Let's go with this next endoraptor. This is actually a pretty old figure. This is the grab and growl endoraptor. And it's called that because it has a few features. First, you can use this button to move its arms. There's also a button on the bottom of its tail to chomp the jaw. And you can even use the tail to move the head around too. All right, let's put this one pretty close to the other endoraptor figure. There, he'll be holding on to this little guy. Back to the T-Rexes. Let's grab this guy and see it is a battle damage T-Rex. Check that out right there on the side with a click of a button. You can reveal the battle damage. Plus, the rest of the body is poseable as well. Now let's set this one down right next to the Camp Cretaceous T-Rex. There they are facing off with the raptors. For our next raptor, we're gonna grab this one at the bottom. This is a Utah Raptor from Jurassic Park. So this figure is pretty old and actually has a rubber skin texture as opposed to the hard plastic of all the rest of these. And you can even move the claws on its feet up and down. Let's set this one up right next to the Grab and Growl Endoraptor. <laughs> 
On to our next T-Rex, we've got a few more huge ones in here. This one, I believe, is from Fallen Kingdom. And this one features a pretty cool chomping action when you move its tail. Check that out just by moving its tail down. And when you move its tail the other way, it actually has a roaring action. Let's see now, let's put this T-Rex right next to the stomp and escape. Back to the raptors, let's grab this little one. This is our first Atrociraptor of this collection. And this is actually a Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor. It is actually battery operated and you can get it to walk around. Plus it has some chomping and roaring sound effects. We're gonna set this one up towards the front because it is a bit shorter than the rest of them. Our next T-Rex is a battle damage T-Rex. You can see that it has some battle damage slashes on its chin and on its neck and on other parts of its body too. So it is a battle damage T-Rex like this one, but this one you can turn on and off and this one is just painted on its body. And so we're gonna put it right next to the other battle damage T-Rex. <laughs> Looks like we've got a few more Endoraptor figures in this collection. This one is from Fallen Kingdom, so it's pretty old, and it doesn't have any action buttons, but its whole body is very poseable. So let's get them posed, and let's set them right next to the Utah Raptor. For our next T-Rex, we've got a pretty wildly colored one. This one was actually custom colored. Plus, I believe this T-Rex is from the first Jurassic World movie, so you might have some trouble finding it now. Next, let's grab this Atrociraptor figure in the classic white with brown striping, just like in the movie. And this is a basic figure, so sadly there's no action buttons, but it still looks really cool. Let's set it down right next to the other Atrociraptor. <laughs> Looks like we got one more big T-Rex here. This T-Rex is also from the first Jurassic World movie, so it is pretty old and probably pretty hard to find. And this version has the tan coloring. It's got some gray detailing along its face and the action button on its back for the jaws. All right, here is our final Endoraptor of the collection, I think. This is the basic version of the Endoraptor, so it's a whole lot less poseable than many of these other figures right here. And it might actually be a little bit smaller. All right, it looks like it is in the sneaking pose. Check out that gold stripe that switches to a darker brown gold right along its tail. And let's set this up right beside these Atrociraptor figures. Now let's grab this T-Rex figure. This is actually a model T-Rex figure, not made by Mattel, but it still looks really ferocious, has some really cool texturing and color detailing too. And since it's a little bit smaller, let's set it up on the front lines right in front of the raptors. Over here, we've got a huge Velociraptor blue figure. And just like this Endoraptor figure that we see right here, this is the basic version of Velociraptor blue. So it's not super poseable, but it still looks great. Let's set this up right behind the basic Endoraptor. We've got some crazy looking T-Rexes in here. This figure's a bit smaller than all the rest of the T-Rexes, but it still has some amazing coloring. Check out that texturing and the fading from the yellow to the green. Let's set this one down right behind the first model T-Rex figure. <laughs> Back to our raptors, we've got another Velociraptor blue figure, but this one is from the Amber collection, so this one is super poseable, and it's even got some glowing gold eyes. That's a really cool feature. So why don't we set this one up right next to the basic Velociraptor blue figure. Look at the differences in the coloring and the texturing compared to the basic version right here. On to our next T-Rex figure. We've got a blue and gold T-Rex figure right here. And it's even got some bright teal coloring right around its eyes too. I think this figure might be the smallest T-Rex yet. So let's set this one up right in front. Let's go ahead and grab these other two Amber Collection Velociraptors. There's first Velociraptor Charlie in the bright green coloring with the striping along the top and a headpiece right behind its face. Let's set this raptor down right in front of the Amber Collection Velociraptor Blue. And then there's Velociraptor Echo in the brown and black coloring with the lighter underbelly. And so let's set this Velociraptor up right in front of the others. Looks like we've got a few small T-Rexes in here. This is an older figure from the first Jurassic World movie. It's got a little battle damage on the side and a tail that controls the mouth. 
Now this is a little itty bitty T-Rex, so we're gonna put it right up front. And here is our last raptor of this collection. It looks like it's an Atrosa Raptor in the white with brown striping, just like this basic version right here. And so we're gonna set it up right in front, really close to the other T-Rex. And here is our final dinosaur. This is a green T-Rex from the first Jurassic World movie. Just like the other miniature T-Rex that we see right here, it's got the battle damage on the side and you can use the tail to open and close the mouth as well as move the neck. So let's set this down right in front next to the other T-Rex. But wait, I've actually got a surprise for you. I've actually bought some new stuff to show in this collection. This first one is a custom colored T-Rex that I just ordered off of eBay. This is my first time seeing it and I love the attention to detail with the coloring. It really looks lifelike. Plus, it looks like there's a whole lot more battle damage than there normally was on this figure. That is really cool. And look at that, there's even some more battle damage on the other side. All right, that is super cool. I definitely wanna be getting more custom painted T-Rexes. And let's not forget for the Raptor side, I just bought an uncaged Rowdy Roars Velociraptor beta figure. Now let's power it up and check it out. Just like the Rowdy Roar figure back there, there's a button at the top of the head. You get some chomping and sound effects. And you can also touch it underneath its chin to make it walk. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge collection of Jurassic World Apex Predators, meaning that they are at the top of the food chain. And I've actually got a brand new Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection that we're gonna open up first. Here is the brand new T-Rex and the baby T-Rex. I already have one of these T-Rexes, but I think this is the first of the green T-Rex that I have. So I'm super excited to check this one out. As you can see, most of its body is a dark green color. It's got the lighter underbelly and it's got the black detailing right along the top. And it's about as adjustable as my other T-Rex figures. So you can move the ankles, you can move the legs into different positions, move the tail around. And then the neck you can also move around so it can look in different directions. And of course there's the button at the top of its head for the chomping action. This is a really cool looking figure, and I'm sure that the T-Rex is one of the best known apex predators. Here we've got a dinosaur that you can't find in real life, but I'm sure it would be an apex predator if it was real. This is the Indominus Rex, and this is one of the big figures. You can see that it's pretty adjustable. You can move the legs into different positions, and that causes the dinosaur to look up and down. You can see it moves its neck back and forth like that. This figure also comes with the two action buttons, one for the chomping, and then one on the back for the slashing action. This is another T-Rex. This one is mostly brown. It's got the dark brown on the top, lighter brown on the sides, and then a tan on the bottom. And this T-Rex figure has a tearing action, actually. So when you press this button on its back, it tears just like that. And there's also a second action button that swings the tail back and forth. Here is a Carcharodontosaurus with blue coloring on its body and the orange and brown detailing on the top. This also has one action button for chomping. <laughs> Plus you can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail as well. Next up, we've got two Endoraptors. And obviously these dinosaurs aren't from real life, but if they were, I can guarantee you that they would be an apex predator. I just remember them from the Jurassic World movie. These were some of the most feared dinosaurs. This first Endoraptor is a more basic figure. You can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail, but you can adjust the neck or open and close the mouth. But on this second Endoraptor figure, this one is super adjustable. It's got a bunch of points of articulation. Again, it's a double jointed tail. You can bend the knees, you can bend the ankles, you can adjust the arms fully, and you can open and close the mouth too. Right over here, we've got two Sucomimuses. This one is a blue with yellow detailing, and this one is yellow with brown detailing on the top. This one has two action buttons, one for chomping and one for the tail. This Sucomimus only has one action button that activates the jaw. 
right up top here, we've got a smaller figure, but still a fearsome predator. This is a Baryonyx. It's got the green sides and belly and the brown top. The arms and legs can articulate and move around. And there's an action button on its back for chomping. Back here, actually, we've got another Baryonyx. This one has a brown body and sides with a dark gray blue coloring on the top and the bright orange detailing right on the top of its face. And just like the other figure, the legs and the arms can move too. Here is an older Jurassic World figure. You can see that this is another T-Rex. It's got the full tan body and on its head, it's got some gray detailing. It's got those yellow eyes and an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Here we've got a newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This is a Yang Truanosaurus. It's got the green body, a lighter yellow underbelly. It's got some brown detailing along the top and then that bright orange piece right on its head. This figure is pretty adjustable with its arms and its legs. You can see that moving the legs dips its head down like that. And the tail controls the jaw and can move the neck around too. Back here is another newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This is a Scorpio Venator. This figure has an orange belly and sides. It's got some white detailing right along the top and a dark gray blue color right along the top of its head. This figure is fairly adjustable. You can move the arms and the legs. And when you push down on its legs, it does a chomping action. This one is another T-Rex. This T-Rex though is the battle damage edition. It's got the button on top that you can use to turn on and off the battle damage, which is a pretty awesome feature. This figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the ankles, can move the legs up and down. The tail only has one joint in it though, but the neck of this T-Rex is really adjustable. You can have them look in all directions and you can open and close its mouth really easily. This is a Carnotaurus figure. It's got the clay red body with the darker detailing spots on the sides and the brown right along the top. You can see that the Carnotaurus has a lot of bumps and ridges and that spine right there as well. And with this figure, the tail controls the head and there's a button as well to open and close its mouth. Here's another newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. And I think this is one of my favorite newest dinosaur figures. This is the Ragasaurus. This figure also has a chomping action when you press down on the legs and you can adjust its arms, its legs, and even twist its tail around a little bit. I love this dinosaur's head. You've got the horn right at the top and you've got this really cool smaller spine right on its neck, these spikes. It's really cool. Here we have another very well-known apex predator. This is a Velociraptor. This specific one is actually Velociraptor Charlie from the Amber Collection. So this figure is very adjustable. It can move all the different parts of its arms and legs, and you can adjust its head quite a bit as well too. And it's even got this headpiece right behind its face too. This is another ginormous T-Rex, and this T-Rex is pretty adjustable as well. As you can see, you can move the arms up and down, you can adjust the leg position, and instead of moving the neck and face up here, you actually can control it with the tail by swiveling it. This is another Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. This one is Velociraptor Echo. This Velociraptor has the light brown coloring as well as the dark black right on top. And just like the other Amber Collection Velociraptor, it is very adjustable on all different parts of its body. You can even move the claws on its feet up and down. Back over here, we've got a smaller Indominus Rex figure. This is an older Jurassic World figure. It's got the battle damage on the side that you can open and close. And this figure is fairly adjustable as well. You can move the legs a little bit, you can move the arms just a bit and the tail controls the mouth and the neck too. We've got a few more awesome looking Baryonyxes in here. This first one has a slide action for different roaring sound effects. And this Baryonyx doesn't have any buttons on it, but you can use the tail to move the head around. Right over here is a well-known predator from Jurassic World. Once again, it isn't a real dinosaur, but I can guarantee this would be an apex predator. This 
is this Scorpios Rex. This figure has two action buttons on its back, one for the mouth and one for the claws. And the rest of the figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the legs quite a bit and you can adjust the neck to have it look around. And the tail is spring-loaded too, so you can fling the tail back and forth with those poisonous quills. Back here is a huge water dinosaur that I'm sure you recognize from the first Jurassic World movie. This is the Mosasaurus. This figure is ginormous. It's got a dark blue body on the top and then a white underbelly. And all over its body, you can actually see these like white specks, a little bit of detailing. And there's a few things that you can move on this figure. You can move the fins around, you can swivel the tail back and forth, and you can open and close the jaw, which is a pretty big jaw, I'd say. Probably fit a few small dinosaurs in there. Ah, here's another popular apex predator. This is the Spinosaurus. Did you know that the Spinosaurus is the largest known carnivorous dinosaur that existed? These were even bigger than T-Rexes. This figure has an adjustable tail. The legs are pretty movable, as well as the ankles. You can move the arms up and down, and you can actually adjust the neck quite a bit as well too. Here is another awesome T-Rex Predator. This looks to be very similar as the first T-Rex that I unboxed in this video, but with different coloring. See, it's got the brown body and the darker brown on top. And just like the other T-Rex, adjustable tail, move the legs and the arms, and you can move the head around too. Here's another dinosaur from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Quetzalcoatlus. I didn't really know how big these dinosaurs were until I saw them in the new Jurassic World movie. These things were huge and they took down that plane. This is a Ceratosaurus. I think we actually have another one with different coloring. This one is a dark green color with black detailing on the top. And this one is a light gray with red and a darker gray detailing on the top as well. And they both have that slide action button for different sound effects and different roars. I think the sound effects are the same though. This one's an interesting looking dinosaur. This is a Cryolophosaurus. Look at that interesting crowning on the top of its head. This Cryolophosaurus has a dark blue body with white, red, and bright orange detailing. And you can move the arms, you can move the legs, and you can use the tail to move the head around. Here is another mighty Carnotaurus, the red side and the dark, it's almost like a purple color on the top. This dinosaur has an adjustable tail and adjustable legs and arms. And there's a button on the top for the chomping action. Ah, here's a species I don't think we've seen in this collection yet. This is an Allosaurus. It's got the dark green body with the red and white detailing. See, it's got those spikes right along its spines up top. And you can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail. And it's got the slide action button for different roars and chomps. This bright red dinosaur is a Metriacanthosaurus. It's a pretty interesting looking one. It's smaller than most of the other figures. It's got the bright orange detailing on the top of its head and the action button on its back for chomping. Next up, we've got, I believe, a Majungasaurus. This is a super colorful dinosaur. It's got the dark green, yellow, and blue on its neck. It's got those teal eyes. And like many of the other dinosaur figures, you can use the tail to move the head and neck around. This is an Albertosaurus with the Battle Damage Edition. As you can see, it's got two different types of battle damage. One that's right there on the top of the plastic and one that you can actually open up. This has the stomach and a ribs that you can close down and then the skin that you can do to cover all of the battle damage. That's pretty cool. The rest of the figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the legs, arms, and tail as well as the neck and you can open and close the mouth manually. Over here is the Carcharodontosaurus with a blue body and orange and brown detailing. Look at all those spikes right along its spine too. It's interesting how they're all different heights. With this figure, you can move the arms, legs, and tail, and there's an action button on top 
for chomping. Here is another Allosaurus with different coloring and different actions too. Check out those spikes right along its spine. You can see the two action buttons right here. One for the mouth and one for the arms. And I think we actually have one more Allosaurus in here with different coloring. This one is gray with yellow detailing. You can only move the arms and legs in this figure aside from the action button on its back that controls its mouth. Right over here is another Albertosaurus. This figure is about medium sized and it does not have any battle damage like the one we saw earlier, but it's still pretty adjustable. You can move the arms, the legs, and you can use the tail to control the face. Here is another Carnotaurus. This one is a newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. As you can see, it's got the broken horn in the front and this figure is smaller but pretty adjustable. You can move the legs, the arms, twist the tail, and you can move the head and jaw around too. Here are a few small Dilophosaurus figures. This first one is mostly gray with red detailing and an action button on the tail that activates the frills. The second one is a bit more brightly colored. It has a green body and two different tones of orange, as well as the action button to activate the frills. And last but not least, we've got a bunch of smaller Velociraptor figures. Oh, actually, this is another baby T-Rex, just like we saw at the beginning of the video. But the rest of these figures are all Velociraptors. So let's check them out one by one. First, we've got the tan and brown Velociraptor. This one has a slashing action, spring-loaded torso, so it swings back and forth. This Velociraptor has a brown and yellow body with battle damage that you can open and close on the side. This next Velociraptor has a red and dark purple body, and you can move the arms, legs, and tail, as well as the mouth, but there's no special features on this figure. And these last two figures are similar in movement, but with different coloring. It's got the blue body with the yellow and gold coloring. This one has a dark brown color with orange on the top. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of old Jurassic Park versus Jurassic World figurines. A lot of these figures you can't find anywhere except on like eBay and they might be actually pretty expensive in some cases. Plus, I've even got some brand new Jurassic World figures that we are gonna open up as well today. So let's get started. First up of the brand new dinosaurs is the Zungaripteris. This is a flying dinosaur. So let's open it up and check it out. So this flying dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. It's got yellow wings and a yellow body, and then it's got the brown on the very top and on the neck and on the head. You can see there's a bit more bright coloring right on its horn and right along its eyes and nose as well. Let's see if you can open up the mouth. Yep. You can adjust the wings and you can move the neck around as well. And the DNA barcode is right there. Next up is the Moros Intrepidus. Let's check it out. This dinosaur is from the Jurassic World Ferocious Pack and it's pretty adjustable. You can see it's got a soft green color throughout most of its body. It's got some white and then the orange tail at the back. Let's see if we can open up the mouth. Oh, it's really difficult, but you can. And its joints are pretty articulated as well. You can move the arms, the neck, you can move the legs and the tail too. Here we've got the Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor. Let's check it out. All right, here is the Atrociraptor. Just put batteries in it, so let's see what it can do. You can see that there's a button up top here and a power switch. Let's turn on the power and let's press the button and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. So the, so the body does move. It does like this little wiggling thing. If I put it down on the table, I bet it would walk. 
That's pretty interesting. I do love the coloring on this as well. It is a bright orange color over most of its body. It's got the brown on top and a little bit of yellow detailing on the legs. It's pretty cool. And last of the brand new dinosaurs is Velociraptor Charlie from the Camp Cretaceous set. All right, another Velociraptor to add to my huge Velociraptor collection. And it's got an action button right here on the top for some slashing. Let's check that out. Looks like it doesn't work too well. Yeah, the slashing action seems like it kind of gets stuck a bit. But still, this is a pretty cool Velociraptor. It's pretty articulate with all its joints. I think this will look great with all my other Velociraptors. All right, let's dig into this giant bin of old Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. This is the 1993 Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got a soft body all over. Its legs are made of hard plastic as well as its arms are hard plastic that swivel. And this T-Rex has a chomping action. When you squeeze the soft stomach, its mouth opens and closes. It's a little old, so it's not working quite as well as it used to. But this is pretty cool. This is a huge T-Rex. Here we've got another vintage Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex also has a soft body except for its legs is a hard plastic, as well as its arms again, that you can swivel back and forth. And with this T-Rex, instead of squeezing the stomach, you can move the tail and it moves its head around. That's pretty cool. This is a super old dinosaur figure. This is the Stomp and Strike T-Rex. This is one of the older Jurassic World figures. And how it works is set it up like that. So it's in the roar position. And then you activate the tail and it comes swinging down for a chomp. That is pretty cool. Here we've got a super special and pretty hard to find Jurassic World Hybrid Indominus Rex. Let's check out the features of this dinosaur. First, with the arm, if you pull that, then it has a chomping action. Second, there's a hidden button right here that when you press, it shoots out its spikes. I'm super glad I have this Indominus Rex, and I love the gold on the underbelly too. That is something you don't see very often. Here is another vintage Jurassic Park dinosaur. This is the Utah Raptor. You can see it's got the JP-22 right there on its legs. It's got some huge claws on its feet that are adjustable, and you can move the legs and the arms. And with this Utah Raptor, you can actually pull the legs back to lock into place. And then there's a hidden button underneath its tail that you press to swing them forward. So it's like a chomping action when it's standing up. Here is a vintage Jurassic Park Allosaurus. This dinosaur has a hard plastic body all around. And you can see that some body parts actually come off to reveal battle damage underneath. Look how detailed that is too. You can see like, intestines in there you can see some bone on the part that you take out and there's even other parts that you can take out too you can take out part of its leg see its bone and its muscle right there and you can even take out part of its tail too let's check out that bone underneath and it just clicks right back into place here is another hybrid dinosaur this is from the old jurassic world toy line this is a hybrid tyrannosaurus rex see those spines right on the top there and actually hide them and the ones right next to its head and then when you press this button right here they'll all slide out that's pretty cool plus that button doubles as a chomping button this has some pretty unique coloring on it too this one back here is a jurassic park vintage toy i believe this is a baby t-rex if i remember correctly you can see it has some battle damage right there on the side. And like many of the other vintage figures that I have, its body is soft aside from its hands and its feet. And it's got a mostly brown body with a darker brown spots and stripes as well. Back here, we've got a special edition Ankylosaurus. This one's pretty special because it actually has this additional shell that you can remove to reveal the normal shell. And look, it's even got some battle damage right there on the side. So this is pretty cool. And you just click it right back on. And this Ankylosaurus has an action as well. When you move this leg back and forth, you can see that it sticks its head out. 
and it swings its tail too. Here's another Jurassic World T-Rex. You won't see the JW tattoo on its leg because this one was colored differently. So this one is a red color with black spots and stripes all over. And it's got the chomping action button on its back too. This is pretty cool. Right over here, we've got another vintage Jurassic World figure made by Kenner. This is the Chasmosaurus. It's got that huge shield in the front. It's got the three horns on its head. Plus with this figure, when you move the leg, it moves its head up and down for a roaring action. This is a Ceratosaurus with battle damage. It's got the red on the top with the black stripes and the rest of its body is a light tan color. And it's pretty articulate with the arms and the legs. Plus with the tail, when you move that up and down, it opens and closes its mouth. Here we've got an even smaller T-Rex. This is also from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got the battle damage on the side, arms and legs can move, and with the tail, you can control the head. You can go up and down, back and forth, and you can open and close the mouth all in one. Right over here is a big winged dinosaur. I believe this is a Pteranodon. You can fold in the wings, make it easier for storage. And it's got two buttons on its back. One flaps the wings, and one opens and closes the mouth. Here we've got a bunch of classic Jurassic World Velociraptors. I have a ton of these. See that these two are tan with the green striping on top. This one is a dark green with the black striping on top. And with each of them, you can move the arms and the legs. Can't open the mouth or close them or anything like that. But these are actually some of my biggest velociraptors, which is pretty cool. This is the Ankyloranodon, and it's a pretty weird looking dinosaur. It's got a light color over most of its body and the bright red striping right on the top, all the way to the tail. See, it's got some spikes or feathers or something like that on the top of its head, on its back, and on its arms, like wings as well, as well as right on the tip of its tail. And with this figure, you can move its leg up and down for a roaring or chomping action. Here we've got a basic Jurassic World Spinosaurus. You can't open and close the mouth or adjust the neck on this one. And it is smaller than a lot of the other Spinosaurus figures that I have, but it's still got the same iconic coloring as my other Spinosauruses with the red on the top, the white in the middle, and the green on the bottom, as well as the red right around its eyes. Next up, from Jurassic World, we've got a Dilophosaurus that is super brightly colored with orange and green and yellow. This is a super colorful dinosaur. Plus, with this figure, it comes with an action. When you move the tail up and down, it swings its head up and down. <laughs> Over here from Jurassic World again is a Ceratosaurus with pretty unique coloring. It's got brown over its whole body and then a light orange detailing on its back all the way to its horn. And the action button on its back activates its roar and its jaw. Next up from the Jurassic World toy line, JP63, we've got a classic Baryonyx. This dinosaur is super thin looking. And with its right foot, you can move it back and forth to twist its neck back and forth too. Here is another hybrid dinosaur from Jurassic World. This looks to be like a Triceratops and Stegosaurus hybrid. Plus it's got the battle damage right there on the side. This dinosaur is super bright with a light blue on most of its body and dark blue detailing on its feet and in the front too. And this dinosaur has an action. When you move the tail, it swings its head forward for a stabbing action. This one is a similar hybrid as the one we just saw, but with different coloring. You can see it's a dark green with some tan detailing on its body with the same battle damage. I believe this is also a Stegosaurus and Triceratops hybrid with the same stabbing action too. This classic Jurassic Park figure, I believe is called an Amargo Spinus. It's got some bright red accenting on the top of its body. It's got some horns right there on its neck and the rest of its body is black and tan. Let's check out the actions on this dinosaur. You can see when you move this leg, it activates those spines to go up. 
It also moves those spines on its neck and it opens and closes its mouth for a roar too. So it's doing three things at once. I see a few more Jurassic World Velociraptors. Let's see, we've got the dark green with black striping. We've got a brown with gray striping. We've got a special one over here that is a bright green with red striping. And this one actually has a few actions on it. It's got a battle damage button right on its side and the tail activates the mouth too. I think there's one more back here. Yep, here is another Velociraptor also with the battle damage on its side and the tail chomping action. This figure is another vintage Jurassic Park figure made by Kenner. This is Apache Cephalosaurus. You can see it's still got the restraint around its waist, but when you take that off, you can see that there's actually some battle damage revealed underneath, which is pretty cool. And as you're probably guessing, since it's Apache Cephalosaurus, the action button that you press right here is for the headbutting. But this figure is so old that it'll actually fly off. As you can see, it's kind of broken. But that's still a pretty cool action for Apache Cephalosaurus. Over here, we've got some small Jurassic World Indominus Rex figures. This one's the smallest, so let's check this one out first. You can see that there's some battle damage on the side. And just like those smaller T-Rexes we saw earlier, you can use the tail to control the face to open and close the mouth, to move the neck around and all that. This slightly larger Indominus Rex has battle damage as well, but you can open and close this one actually. And then you can just pop it right open. Plus you can use the tail for the chomping action too. Here's a big dinosaur. This is from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. This is the Extreme Chompin' Spinosaurus. It's got the green body with the red and white stripe. And of course, you can move the neck around and activate the chomping with the button on the top of its head. Here's an even smaller Spinosaurus, but this one looks a lot different. This is an older Spinosaurus figure from Jurassic World. See that's blue along most of its body. It's got some gold coloring on its belly and then the bright red spine. And like the small Indominus Rex and small T-Rexes that we saw earlier, you can use the tail to move the neck and open and close the jaw. We've got another big T-Rex. This is from Jurassic World. It's tan in color all over its body and it's got the button on the top of its back that activates the jaw. Here is another vintage Jurassic Park Baryonyx. This is another super slim dinosaur again. You can see it's got the orange striping on the top. And like the other Baryonyx from Jurassic Park, when you move this leg, it twists its head around. Here we've got a super weird looking dinosaur from Jurassic Parks. This is a Lycanops. Kind of looks like a saber toothed tiger in a way. It's got those huge fangs in its mouth. And the mouth is spring-loaded, so you can open and close it. This is from Jurassic World, and I believe this is the Proceratosaurus. You can see most of its body is a light tan color with some gray detailing on its back all the way up to its face, and it's got the bright red right on top of its face, too. Here is another Apache Cephalosaurus, but this one is from the old Jurassic World line. And you can see with the tail, that you can move its head up and down and back and forth. This is another Jurassic Park vintage toy, and it is, I believe, a Dilophosaurus. This figure is pretty small and pretty slim, but you can see those iconic frills right at the top of its head. Here are a few more Jurassic World figures. This, I believe, is another Pteranodon with wings that you can fold up or extend. It's got the action button on its back for flapping its wings. And with this figure, you have to manually open and close its mouth. There is no button for it. This figure is a Jurassic World Mosasaurus. You can see it's got the battle damage on the side that you can open and close. Plus, with this figure, you can use the front fins to activate the jaw. We've got some more Jurassic Park vintage figures in here. This first, I believe, is a Velociraptor with red on the top and orange on the sides. This other figure I have in my hand is a baby T-Rex. 
You can see with this baby T-Rex that you can actually move the leg around. You can see that it's broken in a way. It did originally come with a bandage that you used to cover that. But all in all, this is a pretty cool figure. Here is another hybrid Triceratops Stegosaurus from Jurassic World. It's got the battle damage on the side, and just like we saw with the other figures, you can use the tail for a stabbing action. Here are two other similar Jurassic World figures. Both of them have the tail chomping action. You can see this one is a T-Rex with battle damage, and this one is a Spinosaurus with battle damage. Let's check out those chomping actions. And last of all is the classic Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Let's check it out. It's got the chomping action in the front, and you can adjust the arms and the legs too. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out my collection of the rarest Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. First, I just bought some Jurassic Park sets off of eBay. The first one is the Alan Grant with double-barreled bola launcher from the Jurassic Park new series 2. Let's check this out. So there's Dr. Alan Grant. We've got a variety of tools here as well as a little dinosaur. And way up at the top here, you can see that it's some type of claw contraption or something used for trapping dinosaurs, it looks like. Now, I'm not going to open this up because this is a collectible and I want to keep it in this condition since it's unopened right now. But I still have another figure from eBay that I just bought that we're going to check out as well. This is the Compstagnanthus, or at least I think that's how you pronounce it, codenamed Lasher from Jurassic Park Chaos Effect series. And this dinosaur is super colorful. It's got some light blue-green over its body with the black. It's got some yellow. It's got some orange. It's got blue right on its nose. So this will be super cool to add to my collection too. And as you can see, it is a combination dinosaur of a Compsognathus, a Stegosaurus, and an African tree frog. That is pretty wild. As you'll notice with basically all of these figures, these figures are discontinued, so you won't be able to find them new anywhere. You might be able to find them on eBay or something like that. But this first one is a Jurassic Park Allosaurus. And this figure actually has multiple pieces of battle damage that you can completely take off. And this front battle damage actually has multiple layers. You can take off the ribs to see the stomach underneath, and then you can just cover it back up with the skin, just like that. You can also remove the thigh on this dinosaur, see the flesh underneath, as well as on the tail. You can rip off a piece of the tail and see the bone and flesh underneath too. Back here, we've got one of the original Tyrannosaurus Rexes from Jurassic Park. This figure has some pretty unique coloring over its body. It's got the clay red with the black spots and stripes. It's got the lighter underbelly. It originally had sound effects. And its whole body is a soft rubber, which is a common theme with the older figures. Right here, we've got a T-Rex from Jurassic Park The Lost World. This is the Thrasher Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it also has a soft rubber body aside from the arms and the legs. And with this T-Rex, you can actually wiggle the tail to control the face and the neck, and move it back and forth. All right, I know you've been keeping your eye on these huge T-Rexes on the side. This super colossal T-Rex is one of a kind, and that is because it is actually custom colored. It's got a light tan body all around. It's got some interesting shadowing and detail all over. It's also got some super dark red eyes and some interestingly colored teeth too. So those are darker teeth than what's normal. So while you may be able to get a super colossal T-Rex, you will not be able to buy one that is this color. Next up for the one of a kind super colossal dinosaurs is this T-Rex. And this has some of the craziest custom coloring out of any figures that I've seen. It looks like a fire T-Rex. Got the bright red over its belly and sides. It's got the glowing orange right next to the black and then the black top. This is a super cool one of a kind T-Rex. 
And for our final one-of-a-kind custom colored super colossal dinosaurs is this Velociraptor. This, I think, has some of the best custom coloring out of any figure that I have. It is so detailed and so well done. It's got the black body with these brown stripes, and there's even these little gold specks along its brown stripes as well. My favorite part, though, are the eyes. These are incredibly detailed. It's like gold eye, but then it's got red towards the center and then the black pupil. You will not be able to find another super colossal Velociraptor with this coloring anywhere. Here we've got a Jurassic Park Stegosaurus with battle damage right on the shoulder. Mm. This figure has a somewhat soft rubber body. The tail is especially rubbery, so you can swing that back and forth with those spikes at the end. And it has a very natural green and brown and light tan coloring all over its body. So it really blends into the jungle. This giant T-Rex, I believe, is the Jurassic Park Lost World Bull Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex has some pretty unique coloring with this green-blue color on the sides. It's got some light brown on its legs as well as along the top of its body. It's got some marble eyes that are green. And I don't have the piece anymore, unfortunately, but originally it was able to swallow, I think, a cage that had a man inside. So this thing could actually swallow humans or dinosaurs or whatever you want and you can release it from the stomach right in there. Next up of my rarest figures is this Jurassic Park Lost World Pteranodon that was nicknamed the Steel Beak. This figure's pretty old and fragile now, but it's one of the few figures that has a fabric wing on it, as well as spring-loaded joints for the wings, so it can swing forward and it swings back just like that. Next up is the Jurassic Park Lost World Parasaurolophus. This figure's in pretty good condition for how old it is. It's got the light tan body with the darker brown stripes along the top, and this figure actually has an action button on its back used for running. Here we've got the original Jurassic Park Triceratops, and this figure has some huge battle damage on its side. You can see some flesh and some bone in it as well. This figure also has the soft rubbery body like many of the super old figures, and it has an action that when you squeeze its stomach, it swings its head upward. Here is a dinosaur figure that, although it's more recent, it's still pretty hard to find and pretty rare. This is an extreme chomping Spinosaurus from Jurassic World. This figure has the dark ground body with the light underbelly and the red spine and face. And of course, it comes with the button at the top of its head for the chomping. Right here is another one of the original Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rexes. This is a smaller figure. It probably only stands about nine or 10 inches tall. It's got some battle damage on the side and it has the soft rubbery body all throughout aside from its arms and its legs. This super bright dinosaur, I believe, is from Jurassic Park The Lost World and is actually a Chaos Effect Anki Loranodon. This figure has some super bright colors, bright green and the bright purple, plus it's got a super bright orange eye as well. And there's actually a hidden action button on its back used to move its tail. Over here is another more recent figure from Jurassic World, but is still pretty rare and pretty hard to find. This is the hybrid Indominus Rex. It's got the bright red over its body, it's got some gold, and the classic gray color for the Indominus Rex. Plus it has a few action buttons, the first that you press down to stick out its spines, and the second to pull down the arm, and it roars. Check this one out. Here is another discontinued Jurassic World figure. This figure is fairly rare and is actually a hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check out these spines that pop out on the top of its head and on its back. Plus, another unique feature about this Tyrannosaurus Rex is this unique coloring right along the side of its body. And the action button that springs out the spines also activates the jaw. This is another Chaos Effect dinosaur from Jurassic Park. This is the Velociraptorix, and this dinosaur has some really unique features. 
What stands out the most to me are these wings right on the Velociraptor's arms. That's super interesting. And it's got these spikes right along the top of its back and its head as well. And this Velociraptorix has an action that when you pull the leg, it swings its arms up and down and its head moves as well. Next up, we've got another figure from Jurassic World. This is a hybrid special edition Ankylosaurus. And the most special part about this figure is that it actually has part of its shell that you can take off to reveal the normal shell underneath. This removable shell is super bright and reflective. It's got some bright green and purple in the spikes as well. And you can just plop it right back on. Next up in my rare figures, we've got the Jurassic Park Amargo Spinus. I think this figure looks somewhat similar to the unopened figure that we saw at the very beginning of this video. It's got the long neck, it's got the spines all over, and it's got a few action buttons actually that when you move the leg, it actually sticks up its spines on its back, on its neck, and it opens its jaws too. Next up is the Jurassic Park Lost World Chasmosaurus. This figure looks similar to a Triceratops. It's got many of the same features. It's got the horns in the front. And this figure also has an action that when you pull its leg, it moves its head up and down. This is another Jurassic World hybrid figure. This, I believe, is a hybrid between a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops. But it's also got some super bright and unique coloring with the bright blue on its side, the dark blue on its legs, and the gold right along the top and its horns too. Here is another Jurassic World hybrid figure. This is a hybrid between a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Dilophosaurus. And once again, it's also got some super bright coloring with the bright orange on its sides. It's got some gold along the top too. This is a Jurassic Park Spinosaurus. And let me tell you, I think it looks a lot different than the Spinosauruses that Jurassic World is releasing now. But it's still got the huge spine along its back, of course, and it has some pretty bright coloring. It's got the bright green along its body with the gray as well. Next up is a fairly large figure from Jurassic Park. This is a Utah Raptor. It's got the orange body with the black detailing along the top and the lighter underbelly. And a nice detail on this figure is that you can actually move the claw up and down on its feet. Over here, we've got a few Jurassic Park Baryonyx figures. These are quite a bit different than the new Jurassic World Baryonyxes that are being released now. Their bodies are a lot more thin. They've got shorter legs, and it looks like they've got longer necks too. Next up, we've got two Velociraptors from Jurassic Park with different features. This first one is a lot smaller and you can move the arms and the legs, but there's no action button. But on this second Velociraptor figure, there's an action button that when you move the leg, you can hear a sound effect. It's really quiet, so you probably can't hear it on the camera, but its head also used to move up and down as well. Here are some other interesting dinosaurs from Jurassic World. This is a Dilophosaurus with battle damage on the side, and it is super brightly colored. We've also got a smaller Spinosaurus with battle damage on the side that you can control by moving the tail around too. And for the last two dinosaurs of my rare collection, first we've got a Jurassic Park baby T-Rex with a broken leg feature. And we've also got this, I think it might be a Baryonyx, it might be an Allosaurus, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's from Jurassic World, and it's got the battle damage on the side, and the tail controls the head too. Welcome to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaur figures that were released as part of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line. I've got tons of these dinosaurs, so let's dig in. First up, we've got some new ones that I just bought that we're gonna check out first. First one is the Endoraptor. So this Endoraptor figure is probably medium size, not as big as most of the T-Rex figures. It's got the all black body with the gold striping right along the side, just like the movies. And this figure is super poseable. You can move basically every joint in its body as you could in real life. 
You can open the jaw, the neck, the arms, the legs, the tail. It's got two joints. It's got some quills on its back and on the top of its head too. And of course, it's got those red eyes. Next up, we've got the Dino DNA Lab Kit with the Dimorphodon. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, here we go. So here is the Dimorphodon. It's gray in color, and then it's got that maroon purplish coloring on the bottom of its wings, and it's pretty adjustable. And we've got the Dino DNA kit. Comes with the slime, too. Let's go ahead and put this in. All right, here's the slime, and it goes into the canister. Oops, didn't quite fit. And then you stick this dinosaur skull into the slime. And there you go. It is now on display. Plus, you can actually open up the canister to let the goose slide out of the side. That's pretty cool. And next up, we've got another Dino DNA Lab Kit. This is the Velociraptor Pack. So let's open it up and check it out. Here is the Velociraptor. It looks like it is in a sneaking pose, crawling along the ground. It's got a light green color and it's pretty poseable with all its limbs and jaw. And of course, you've got the DNA kit right here. Let's put that slime in. And finally, let's put the skull in. Looks like this kit comes with the same skull. And there we go. Exact same as the other one. It's got the opening on the side to let out the goo. And you can close it back up and put it on display. Next up. We've got the Legacy Collection Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus. This has the dark green body and the iconic red along the spine and the face too. And of course, it's got that chomping action. This is the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. This dinosaur can be controlled by moving its tail all around to control its neck, its head, and its jaw. Right over here, we've got the giant Mosasaurus figure. They've actually come out with a new one since then that has different coloring, but this is the original one for Fallen Kingdom. This one has a lighter blue coloring on the side and the top compared to the newer one and the white underbelly. And on this figure, the tail actually doesn't move. That's only with the newer Mosasaurus figures. Here, we've got the basic figure of the Endoraptor. It has the same awesome coloring as the one we opened up earlier, but the limbs cannot move around as much. As you can see, you can only move them somewhat. You can't move the elbows, you can't move the knees. It's kind of stuck in this crawling, sneaking pose. This is the Action Attack Suchomimus. It's got a bright blue color on the bottom and the sides, and the yellow detailing on the top. And it's got one action button on its back for chomping. Next up is the Roarabore Allosaurus. It's got the gray body with yellow detailing on top, and you can move the arms and the legs, and there's an action button on its back for chomping the jaw. This is the Roarabore Ceratosaurus. It has a light yellow body with the black and red detailing on the top, and the iconic horn right there on its nose. Plus, it's got an action button on its back to chomp the jaw. Right here, we've got a basic figure of the Dilophosaurus. It's got the soft green body with the red frills. And you can open and close the frills and move the limbs a little bit, but they're not very adjustable. This is another basic figure from Jurassic World. This is a Velociraptor with the orange body and the brown top. And just like the Dilophosaurus, the limbs are slightly adjustable, but it's pretty basic. Way down here, we've got an extreme chompin' T-Rex. This is part of the Legacy Collection, I believe. And it has the orange body with the light underbelly. It's got the button on the top of its head for chomping. Here's one that I actually haven't shown that much. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex Anatomy Kit. As you can see, you can take it all apart and check out its insides. See, it's got, I think that might be the stomach, that's the intestines, you can see the muscle of the tail, you can see the bone behind it, and even on its leg that you can take off, you can take this apart and see what's inside. So there you've got the bone, got more muscle, it's pretty cool. 
This is the Action Attack Carnotaurus. It's got the dark red body, lighter underbelly, and it's almost like a purple color along the top with all of those bumps along its spine. And this dinosaur has a jaw snapping action. It's really fast. This dinosaur is the Action Attack Stegosaurus. It has a light blue body with a darker blue along the top, and this figure has a tail swinging action. Next up, we've got the Roarivore Cynoceratops. This dinosaur has some pretty cool patterning along its whole body. I really like that orange right on the top. And this figure has a head shaking action for roaring. This is a pretty big winged dinosaur. This is the Roarivore Pteranodon. This figure has a dark blue body with the red and white wings. And it's got a button on its back for the wing flapping. This is the Legacy Collection Velociraptor with the jumping action. The legs are spring-loaded, so when you press down on its body, it'll actually spring up into the air. And this is a super bright Velociraptor. I love the bright orange on this figure. Next up is the Battle Damage Triceratops. This is a smaller figure. It's green all over its body. It's got a little bit of light brown on the top. And most importantly, it's got the Battle Damage on the side that you can flip open and closed. Looks like we got a few more pteranodons in here. First one is a light gray color. It's got some dark blue detailing on the wings and on the face, and it's got a button on its back to flap its wings. And this second pteranodon is a dark green color with yellow accenting. And just like the other, it has a button on its back for flapping the wings. Here is another basic figure. This is Velociraptor Blue. This figure is about medium sized and it's fairly adjustable, but since it's a basic figure, you only can do so much with the arms and the legs. Over here, we've got the Roarivore Baryonyx. This has a light brown body with a dark blue gray coloring on top. And the coolest part is this reflective blue right along the top of its head. Plus this figure has an action button on its back for chomping and roaring. Here is another Baryonyx figure, but this one I believe was actually part of a Lava Surge playset. This one has the bright orange coloring on the top of its nose, while the rest of its body is light brown and dark blue gray, just like the other one. And of course, it's got the action button on its back for chomping and roaring. Here is the Roarivore Metriacanthosaurus. This has a green yellow coloring along the side and bottom with a darker green along the top and it's got a button on its back for chomping. Right over here is the Roarivore Triceratops. This has a clay red color with the brown detailing along the top and it's got a button on its back for the roaring. This figure is the Roarivore Ankylosaurus. It has the dark brown underbelly. It's got some green detailing along its shell and the gray and the white spikes too. And this figure has the button for swinging its tail back and forth. Let's see how many battle damage figures we have in here. I think I found four. I think that's about it. Let's check them out. This first one is Apache Cephalosaurus, the green body and the orange top. And of course the battle damage right there on the side. Next up, we've got a yellow Velociraptor with brown detailing along the top and the battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. As well as another Velociraptor, looks like Velociraptor blue with the battle damage on the side. And finally, a green Herrerasaurus with the battle damage on the side and a little bit of orange brown detailing along the top. We've got tons of Velociraptors in here. Let's check these out. This first one is a blue and gold Velociraptor, and on its head is actually pretty reflective, which is awesome. Then up next, we've got the classic Velociraptor blue figure. And of course, you can open and close its jaw and move many of its limbs around. Then we've got this red Velociraptor and this green Velociraptor. Both have movable limbs, and you can open and close both of their jaws too. 
Here we've got a few Dilophosauruses. This first one is light green with the yellow and red frills in the front. It's got some brown coloring on its back. And this second Dilophosaurus is a dark brown color with blue detailing on the back and its frills are white and like a dark green color. Next up, we've got the green Minmi figure. This figure has spikes all over the top of its shell for protective covering. And it looks like we've got a couple more Dimorphodons in here too. This one has the gray and maroon coloring just like the one we saw earlier at the beginning of the video. And this figure is dark green and has orange and red coloring along its wings. That's pretty cool. I definitely like this coloring better. This, I believe, is a Protoceratops. It's got the light blue coloring with the yellow detailing along the top. Here is another Jumpin' Velociraptor figure. This one is a bright blue coloring. And just like the other Velociraptor figure, you can press down on its body to bend the legs, and then you let go to let it spring up into the air. Next up is the Stiggy Milok Stiggy. This figure has the super hard head with the spikes right behind it, and you can move its arms and its legs and its tail too. Mm. We've also got a few Gallimimuses in here. This first one is a blue-gray color with darker coloring along the top, and it has adjustable legs, arms, and a neck. This second figure is a bit different. Its coloring is a bit more detailed all over its body, plus it's got an action button on its back to run its legs. And the final one is a light tan Gallimimus with darker brown detailing along the top. And just like the others, you can move the legs, the arms, and the neck. This is the Legacy Collection Pachycephalosaurus. And this figure has the head ramming action. And last but not least is the Proceratosaurus. It's a smaller figure with a dark brown coloring with a lighter underbelly. And it's got that red detailing right along its nose. And you can open and close its jaw and move its arms and legs. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.